Continuity what? <laughs> if you were watching our Yume Twins video, you'd know what this is about. So either go back and watch it or suffer and know not what this cup offers. Ooh. Now it's going away. Um, I could pass it back that way so the cat oh, doesn't get boy. it back at it. Alright, so we're going to take our scissors. That he has no problem using, unlike myself. We're going to open the box. Uh, uh, oh no, oh no. No problems. That's right, you make fart sounds. <laughs> so, as soon as I flip open the box, Dana gets all tensed up. What? I and she, she literally, like, she sits up straight. She's got her hands on her lap. And she's just ready to snatch the, the book here. Because whenever we do the Yume Twins one, I grab it immediately. Like that. This month is Japan's most iconic snacks. Iconic snacks. We didn't show this the last time in our Yume Twins, but here's the box for the Tokyo Treats. The, the book, you mean? That, this is the box. I meant the book. That is the book. <laughs> yes, I meant the book. I'm sorry. Um, There is a puppy, which makes me happy. And then the people. Doge. Look, Doge. There's, there's pot. Oh, apparently pot there's land. pot. And... 420. Yeah. Well, I think it's more supposed to be leaves because, you know, there's more of them. Look at all these iconic Ooh. treats. Are we ready to dive in? Yes. <laughs> well, I guess this is the first thing. Yeah. We've got chips. Calbee potato, potato chips. There's 10%. Of a 66 gram bag. Um, that thing. I should probably know what that is because that's probably geographic in nature, but I don't. So, so it like if if a, just to look at them, they look like sour cream and onion chips. That's what I would think too. But this guy, he's, oh, that mayor potato. It's really hard to see where his eyes are, because it looks like he's got two sets. Well, they're all over the place. Ooh. He's a potato. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying. Like, that's an eye, that's an eye, that's an but, eye, that's an but, eye, but that's an eye. This eye, this eye, and then this eye, and this eye. So the, the real Well, these are, these are like his rosy cheeks. Oh, uh, okay. I get right? And these are his eye eyes. Okay. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, Captain. There, okay, now it's a bit easier to see. <laughs> there you go. And he's like holding his finger up going, If you eat more potatoes, you'll have a better diet, school. <laughs> okay. What? I don't know. Oh, here's the drink. <gasps> oh, it's Ooh, in a can. It's in a can. Nectar. It's a big can of nectar. Mm. Ah, new nectarade. Wait. Since 1964. Hmm. It's actually chilly, too. Wow. Well, it was in the car while I was out having sushi. Well, that's good. It, this has 30% something. Even better. <laughs> so, uh, these and look peach. like peaches, yeah. but they are like pink peaches. I don't know if it's just the way the can is, or... Might be because of the, the, the can. Well, that'll be interesting. Yeah. You know we'll be trying this. Mm -hmm. Arrows go that way. Don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's like, it goes this way. This is step one. Pull that that way. Step two, push it back. Oh. Because, you know, couldn't have figured that out on our own. Well, you never know. Wow. That looks... I've seen these cookies before without the face. But like this shape? Hmm. I have no. Are they supposed to be heart or bunny shaped? Because I can't tell. I... The reason I thought heart is because of this thing on the side that's sort of heart-like. Sanritsu. Wait, there's words? Very possibly, yes. Uh, Genji pie is made from the finest ingredients of wheat flour, margarine, sugar, and more. Mm. This heart-shaped pie has been enjoyed since 1965. Why not make your treat time more delightful with Genji? 
See? And he's happy to be here. He's like, thank you for consuming me. Wink. Okay, then. Well, there's all sorts of little Genji hearts on the back. And more writing that we can't read. Yeah. You gotta... I'm going to watch you open the rest of this box. Wink. Wink. <laughs> uh. Ah, the non-food item. <laughs> the non-food food item? I guess. The food yes. non-food item. A lot of different sushi things. Well, iconic, yeah, right? Yeah, it definitely is iconic. So this will be a keychain of some sort. Possibly And it's going to be a fluffy? It, it could still be hard, but based on like the, the rice granules they have in there, it looks like it might be a little fluffy. No, I think it's going to be rubbery. Okay. We're opening it now. Well, it's not food. Yeah, it's hard. Okay. Maybe give us candy to go with it. See how easy that was? Shut up. Well, this is actually, like, really high quality. Ooh. Like, it's dense. Huh. Here, feel that. The only other thing is the chain thing, so. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. That's actually cute. That is really nifty. I like it. I might actually claim that one. Ooh. I don't usually claim them. Usually Dana gets them all. Yeah. Well, you know, if you want them, I won't say no. Because you don't claim them very often. You stay there. Um. Um, that's a little scary. Mayonnaise? <laughs> uh, for you, it's powder, though. Oh. Oh, no, wait. It's a paste. Yeah, it looks... But there's like a powder in there too. Mm. It's hard to tell. That's oh god, that I scares me. Mmm, mayonnaise. <laughs> I hope to God it's mayonnaise. <laughs> what do we got here? Tohato caramel corn. Oh, they're so iconic. They <gasps> tell you in English. Wow. That this doesn't look like popcorn though. It looks like Cheetos. Well, maybe that's the way they're supposed to look in Japan. Caramel Cheetos, but it's caramel corn. 45th sweets. 4,500 somethings. So oh, that'd be a lot of calories. That's... <laughs> like, I'm a fat guy, and I, I'm supposed to eat like 3,000 calories a day. And that would, eating that would be bad for you. Yeah. Apples. Oh. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see when if we eventually open them. Yes. Ta-da! Oh, it's one of these things again. Nope. No. Nope. This oh. is different. This seems to be a ball filled with chocolate, but it looks like it's from the same company. Well, yeah, they've got the same character. Yeah, but it's definitely not what the like the corn or the um corn the stick things. That we yeah. Had, yeah. I like these it. are two different balls. This one makes it look like a bowl of chocolate. Mm. This makes it look like a ball of chocolate. Mm. So that's interesting. Yes. And you see the peanut in there? It looks like it. This is... I thought... Well, this may be the do-it-yourself kit. What? Well, it has... Well, you see... Yeah. This yeah. is the do-it-yourself kit. Okay. But broccoli? Carrots? Pineapple? Grapes, banana, but broccoli, carrots. I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's what I look for when I'm looking for gummies. Cause I think these are gonna be gummy candies. Well, I or, think. Well, they could still be foamy kind of candies, but yeah, it's well, either it's gummy or kind foamy. Kind of gummy. Yeah, kind of. It's. I'm, what are those candies that are? They're not. They're more of a foamy kind. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Marshmallowy. I think. And here they. But here's the thing. They're the flavors they show here are grape, green apple, and lemon. So pretty much standard for these things. Huh. I wonder if... We might have to read the book beforehand for this one, because I don't know if there's um, freezing time or not. Ooh, okay. Yeah, but we we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah. But yeah, it Another looks like the there's... shenanigans will be real. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, it looks like lifesavers. <laughs> Yes. These are apparently iconic. Chorus whistle candy. Oh, we can make whistle sounds with this! You put that in your mouth and you blow it, it's going to be all like... 
<laughs> oh, first seeds. <laughs> first seeds. Oh. More pocky. More pocky. But what flavor? Milk. <laughs> milk flavored pocky. But what's the green? Maybe sweet milk? Mint, mint, mint milk. It could be mint. Mm, mint milk. Mint sweet milk. Maybe? Sweet milk mint. Yes. At least it's a different flavor of pocky that we've never had. Yeah, maybe. Uh, First thing I thought was Kit Kat, but that's only because I saw the title that sort of looked like the Kit Kat logo. Okay. These seem to be some sort of chewy things. Uh, and it has orange. Yeah, I'm an upset orange. <laughs> I'm guessing that's upset. I don't know. I like but whatever it is, color. it's even questioning itself. Like, what? It's, it's got a scared child on it. That's it. Oh. That's creepy. Yes. That's like if Slenderman had a son. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So it looks. Oh, we can make a picture with the, the different pieces. Okay. Oh. See? Okay. <clears throat> so that'll be fun. <laughs> Bake. W. w. Well, you gotta give them credit for naming. They try. It's another Spider Queen uh, product. We've seen oh, right. Mor Morinaga before. Yeah, yeah. But Bake W appears to be a biscuit of sorts. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks pretzel y. Donut. Not donut. No, not donut. <laughs> Don't it. Oh, and apparently this guy's happy about it. I mean, he literally loves it. Oh. Looks like a breadstick from the back. Like it looks lighter and fluffier than a pretzel, mm. so that it's only baked on the on the back. Oh, there's W here. Smokes. Sorry, first thing I think of is not good, but no, it appears to be candy. Ooh. You see, Mr. Running Man is popping candy in his mouth. There's something on the top. You're on the top. Since 1913, one bell. Ding a ling a ling. Oh, they're milk caramel. <laughs> it's Morinaga's. Oh, where's where's the symbol? Uh, I guess it had a different symbol. Uh, I guess it had a different symbol in 1913. Apparently. All right. Well, milk caramel. That sounds tasty. Mmm, it does. <laughs> Still not the thing you were expecting. <laughs> this appears to be chocolate pie from San <laughs> Re what? San oh San maybe <coughs> San, San, San Rappel to because <laughs> that's an apple. So right San, San San Rappel to because an ingo is apple in Japanese. Uh, no, clearly it's in English. Uh, okay, it's right. San Ringo to. <laughs> It might be Sanritsu, though. Chocolate pie. Hmm. We can go to that website. Cheers. It's sanritsuseka.co.jp. <gasps> Ooh, that looks like appetizing. Well, it's chickens. Chicks. Sure. But. Ooh, it's, it's chewy. Oh. Oh, this is intriguing. I wonder if it's chicken flavored. Oh. Because we always get something meat flavored, right? Like usually fish. Oh, yeah. But maybe true. maybe we're getting a chicken I'm stick. I'm not sure that that's very iconic, though. Well, to be fair, I can't think of much else. Well, what, what do you know about Japanese iconic treats? That's one. That's one. That, that's one. Yes. Clearly, clearly there are more. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Anything else? Oh, there's one more! Oh, oh, it feels like a paste. It makes me think of uh, soy sauce. I know that's not the case, but just the way it's written. This looks like mango, doesn't it? Yes. Which is makes me think that it's not soy sauce. It's like a mango fruit, fruit bar. Oh, that could be good. But it's it feels slimy. Uh, 
How can you tell if it feels slimy? Uh, because of the way it's moving in the package. Okay. Like, go ahead. Like, move it. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I get a slimy comment now. All right. So we're going to uh, pick Certain our things. treats. And we'll be right back after these messages. Don't say So, it. we're back. Hi. We've chosen our treats. <laughs> and somehow this made it on the short list. And chicken made it on the short list. And the drink, the drink. Always. And the tater chips. So, hey. let's start with... Let's go right out. Like... This seems to be the grossest. Oh, We're going to open it up. I almost forgot. Just in case. We need to know what it is. Ooh. It's totally slimy. I was right. It's... <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to take a bite. And don't... Not outright hatred of it. That's good. It's weird. Oh, it smells like like potato. Really? Well, I didn't even smell vaguely, it. Vaguely, yeah. And it's got a, a pleasant taste. Oh, it was but weird biting into it. Oh. It's got a weird texture. Hmm. That's not. You're right. It's so weird. It's not. It's got the sweet. I honestly think it's potato, though. You think it's potato? I do. Like oh, sweet potato. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, well, let's find out if I was right. Baked sweet potato yokon. Gummy! Yokon is a Japanese sweet that is usually made with sweet red bean paste and has a thick jelly consistency. This month, We've included a decadent baked sweet potato flavor yokon that is sure to please all fans of Japanese snacks. <laughs> Chill it and enjoy with a hot cup of green tea for truly Japanese snacking experience. Oh, well, dang it. We've ruined everything. It's, it's ruined. Oh, well, video I'm over. I quit. Bye. Table flip. <laughs> let's, um... The Let's drink? move on to the beverage. <gasps> Yay! So, open. Push open back. Follow the instructions. Just does the instructions say? Ooh, that smells very fruity. Fruity or peachy? I mean, it's a fruit, but still. That's good. It's peach. Mm. Yeah, very peachy. Yeah. That steak's peach juice. I mean, there's really not much more to say. It, it tastes just like peach juice. Let's see if they, what they say about it. <clears throat> Fujiya Nectar Peach Juice. A long time favorite in Japan, Fujiya's Nectar Peach Juice. <laughs> oh, hi! Ignore him. <laughs> I am now. Has been around since 1964. Using the puree from real peach, this intensely flavorful but refreshing juice will surely be one of Tokyo Treat's most popular drink. Don't forget to refrigerate it for maximum flavor. Well, it was already pretty cool. Yeah, did pretty good that it was one. good. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the whistle candy. The whistle candy. Because there's also a box in there. Which might possibly be more candy. It might be more candy, or it might be something fun, like a toy. Eh. 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 And it is open now. Whistle candy? Okay. <laughs> Oh god, that's weird. <laughs> it's, it comes with a barrette. Uh, with a what now? A barrette. A barrette. Well, that's what this looks like. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Look, it's, it's you. Oh, don't split the candy, it stops working. Too late. <laughs> so, yeah. Candy. I just got two halves, so if you. That, oh, it seems to work okay when you. A little I bit. put them back together in my oh. mouth. <laughs> but yeah, if it gets cut in half, it doesn't work anymore. And apparently, we got a barrette. <laughs> so. 
Why did we get a barrette? Um, because you remember when a long time ago candies would sometimes come with toys like Cracker Jacks? Yes. This seems to me to be like a very old candy. Okay. And they're probably just honoring that tradition. Alright. Well, it's uh, Whistle Ramoon. Actually, yeah, the candy was it. That's why it goes away pretty quickly. Uh, featured in the popular uh, Dagashi Kashi in manga, these fun Ramoon candies double as a whistle and has been loved by kids in Japan since the 70s. With the addition of a mini toy with each package, it's no wonder why the Whistle Ramoon continues to maintain its popularity. See? Very stylish. Unpopular. Get away from my tea. Oh. Tippies. Yay, Jit. Hopefully they're not like milk flavored or something. Oh, they might be. They really look like sour cream and onion. Like, big time. Yeah. There's no real smell to them. They don't taste like sour cream and onion. I don't know what they taste like. Corn potage. Maybe. I think it's corn potage. Some salt. Hmm. There might be corn in there. I think it's corn potage. Well, let's find out. I'm starting to get these Japanese guys. I don't think it is, but you never know. Kelby seaweed and salt chips. That's like corn potage. No, it's not. Corn comes from the sea. Does it now? I thought it came from farmland. Uh, yes, I'll continue to read. Because this month's theme is iconic Japanese snacks, we just had to feature these classic flavored chips. Long beloved by all generations, these light but savory chips will... Chips? Yeah. Chips. <laughs> Bet you can't eat well, this one. I, well, I didn't. Uh, we'll probably also make a fan of you once you try them. Colby uses red pepper and sesame oil as their secret ingredients to perfect the flavor of their super addictive seaweed and salt chips. It's not a secret anymore. You just announced it to the world. Either way. If no, we... not either way. That you, we've just... We, you, they broke the fellowship. The fellowship? Yeah. What fellowship was that? The fellowship of the... Ring? No. Then what? The, of the ingredients. You make no sense. They had a fellowship uh -huh. of the ingredients. Okay, sure. Chicken time. <laughs> it's no, it's gonna be chicken. See, it's even got like KFC stripies. And don't they love KFC guy? Well, they do, but. Oh, it tastes like chicken. You mean smells like chicken? Because that's you weren't it tasting it. It, does, you it were doesn't really it. smell like chicken. I'm oh. I'm kidding. Okay. Oh. It actually s smells like um, bean paste. And um, remember that, yeah, you know that, um, <sighs> the stuff that I thought tasted like peanut butter, but wasn't? Yeah. It was like a bean paste of some kind? I vaguely remember, but yes. Yeah, so there, you want that. Mm. So I'll have this. Oh, I, okay. Hmm. Not getting a lot of flavor. I got the, 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 the bean paste on there, but... It's not a lot to this. It's chewy. This isn't what I would call good. Mm-mm. This is called, um, Kinako Stick. So, Kinako stick is a semi-soft, chewy candy that is covered with an ample amount of roasted soybean flavor. That's what I love. Yeah. <laughs> an iconic snack in Japan. These traditional snacks have been loved by many generations. The chewy texture with the subtle sweetness is enough to get you hooked, but the roasted soybean fl uh, flour gives it a nutty dimension and gives it a unique touch. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. No, definitely not my favorite, but mm -mm. I mean, there are worse. There are worse. Wrong video. <laughs> Ow. 
Um, I don't know why that happened. <laughs> All of a sudden, music. Phone's like, oh, you want you want music? Dance party. I hit the wrong button on the remote is what happened. And that, that just started, it's a good time to play music. <laughs> I better watch it, though. I don't want to get copyrighted for you. No. <laughs> all right. So that's all we have for today. Uh, we will be back next week, of course, with more treats because that's how we operate. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to seeing you then. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you.